welcome to Transition Tuesday. I'm Lilith Lectra. That's Amanda Bonanza. And uh, on this show, we just kind of answer questions uh, about people that are about being trans or things they're going through and they want advice, they want help, or they just want to know. If you have a question, uh, you can always email. What's the email address? The email address is media at the transverse.net. You can always just email us a question. We'll use it for a future show. You can always comment on one of our uh, videos. Also, on the videos, if you're watching them after we post them, if you want to add your own thoughts. Oh, I would love to hear what y'all think. I don't claim to be an expert. Yeah, we're not experts. We're just people that went through it. You ready for a question? I'm so ready. I'm always ready. Is it fine to never tell a person you're trans after you've fully transitioned? Is it okay to just not tell people or ever let them know? For example, if I was female to male, but I pass 100% as masculine, and randomly someone one day asked me if I'm trans, can I just say no and move on with my life? Can I just tell people I'm a dude and say or pretend I'm cis? Is it okay to lie about that? People online already think I'm a cis dude, so I never comment on it. Is this all right? Sorry if it is. I just love the idea of being seen as cis. Sorry if that's weird to think. Well, I got a couple things to say about that. I bet you do. Yeah. So when the first part of the question came, I was all for it. I think it's a, a very natural thing to want to pass. And I think a lot of the reason that a lot of us want to pass at all is not that we want to be seen as just because we don't want to hassle. Like, it's just like, we just want to be treated like normal people going about our business like everyone else. And that's the goal. So I just want to be treated as the correct gender. That's it. But when you get into like, if someone straight up asks you and like, and then you lie about it, I don't know. I mean, is that ever okay? I think in certain situations, that's okay. Depending on your audience, really, like if you just want to lie to people because you, you find the situation to be dangerous or something, or if it's just the idea of like, I just want to be seen as cis, I guess that's, it's a valid perspective. It's this question asker's perspective. It really does leave a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth. And I, and I kind of feel like the community and the movement has come so far in such a short time. And that that kind of attitude, I think, drags it backwards a little bit. What do you think, Lilith? I, I definitely disagree slightly. Like, I hear what you're saying, but I also feel like my thing is you don't owe anyone anything. You don't yeah. owe anyone an answer. And it's that. frankly, none of their business. I think that's a much better answer. You live in a world where, you know, it's not always safe. You don't know what their intentions are for asking, but just ask them right back. I don't know, like, I don't, what are you? Are you? What are, yeah. you are you? <laughs> yeah. Are you? You don't have to answer invasive questions about it, and that's an invasive question. Uh, and I see this all the time, you know, when I'm looking for questions, people like, how do you handle when someone says this? And it's some bad faith turf question. It's like, you do not have to engage those people. Yeah, you really don't. You don't owe anyone an answer. And for this, yeah, I would say, you know, if you feel safe, if you feel like you want to tell them, like you can. And that's what it boils down to. Yeah, not everyone's me. Not everyone go through their life being like, I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. Like, obviously, like you have to assess your situation. You have to assess your safety, whether it's a kid who's afraid to come out to their parents. Like you have to assess that situation, whether it's telling a stranger, you have to assess the safety of that situation. But at the end of the day, you don't need to justify your existence to anyone. You don't know anyone explanation for some whatever weird question is going around the internet. You don't have to answer what a woman is. What it means to be one. Yeah, like that is, oh, that's, the, that's like all the question I hate it the most. If you think about having sex with Matt Walsh and you puke, you're probably a woman. You're a living human being. <laughs> or a human. The only thing I did think is, you know, if this is someone you're in a relationship with, I know bottom surgery is much less uh, accessible or, or anything for people transitioning to male. So if you don't have that, I always think like your know, sexual partner, uh, that might be something to warn them about. That's your own situation and, and, and yeah. you deal with that when you do. That, that would be the only thing I say. But I would also say if you're a trans woman who's had bottom surgery, I would say you don't have to disclose anything to a sexual partner either. It's just such a subjective thing. It's such a case by case basis. From my perspective, like I, for the most part, pass and I go out into the world and it just doesn't come up. And so, but if I ever get asked, I, I don't think I've ever gotten asked point blank by a stranger, even, even when I didn't pass, but I have been asked by people that like, know me a little bit or are curious or something. But I mean, I don't hide it either. I don't wear it like as a badge. Like I don't, I don't fly the flag. I don't like have it um, t tattooed anywhere or like I don't wear it 
uh, like on my clothes. I don't wear the trans flag or anything like that. I just navigate the earth like a kind of a, like a, a, a traditional, you know, middle-aged white lady. Like, and like, I just go about my business. And the result of that is that's what people perceive me as because that's what I am. If it ever did come up and someone would ask me point blank to my face, I, I don't think I would lie about it. But like, I, I don't know what I would do because it hasn't come up. You don't owe them anything. You're not morally wrong for not telling someone that. It's not their business. You went to a party and just started asking everyone that. You're, you're like a weirdo. It does seem like a weird question that for someone to just ask like out of nowhere, especially if you're possible. Like it's like it's like I don't know what the situation could bring it up. Like if it's like another dude that's just like been known you for a while and just hey yeah are you trans it's like it's like maybe you've dropped hints here and there like you tend to be like you know like really vocal about your politics or whatever it is i don't know what it is like it, it's it, it could be any number of things and so it is a case-by-case -case basis but the the general rule is like no one should really ask that in the first place i think what's even more okay is to to like point out how inappropriate that question is when when you're talking about like sexual partners like you know be as much i think as that's a be. different case i think entirely. that's a different case but if it's just some person asking you like tell them the fuck off well i mean that that brings up a whole different question which is like but if we're you only are answering getting, this question so. well, well, i mean i'll dive into it a little bit on the yeah. point <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna like, stop you <laughs> well because it's like when it gets to the the hookup thing, the relationship part of things where it's like it, where sex gets involved or, or any sort of intimacy, it's like when is the right time to like reveal it in that situation? And, and I've, I've heard a whole bunch of different responses to it. I've heard of people that like don't say it at all. You even mentioned that like it's like it's like a trans woman that's had bottom surgery. It's like you don't think it's necessary to even mention it at all. Like I I get that out of the way right away. Cause that to me can invite a lot of dangerous situations, especially if you're dating men. You never know how how dudes are going to react to stuff. Like, I don't know that that's the case with women. If you're dating guys and you're not upfront about that, like I feel like you're really running the risk of getting yourself into like some, a seriously dangerous situation. I, I feel like if you're a woman, if you had bottom surgery, you don't have to disclose anything to anyone. Obviously, I'm in a relationship right now, but when I was, I was always open about that upfront because I want to keep people away who are gonna who are gonna react that way. Again, that's not a random person who I, or, or a person I work with or someone I know asked me out of the blue about that because, you know, that's none of their business. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird question to even just be asked. For everyone in the trans community, just foremost in your mind, you don't know anyone's answers to anything about any garbage the question they come up Because that's what happens. Every six months, they got a new question that they think they're, they're the smartest person on the planet because they're <laughs> regurgitating what they heard some asshole say on a podcast. And, and then everyone's like, how do you answer this? Like, you don't answer it. Well, that's assuming the worst from the question actor. I think, I, I mean, think I, yeah. Anyone who's like, know, anyone who's like, what wrong. is a woman? Yeah, I expect the worst from Well, you. with that, like, yeah, but I, I think like, I think just general inquiry, I I think I think for a lot of I didn't say general. People, I, I think, said every six months they have their new stupid question that they think they're so smart. You do not have to answer their stupid no, that, question. Well, of when, the, yeah, of the in, week. in that case, you don't ever have to talk to someone that's being like like just and genuinely hostile. But like what I'm getting at is like I think like just inquiring as to whether you are trans or not. I don't think that's I think it's a rude thing to ask a person if you don't know. Like I, I oh especially a stranger, but like I mean I understand that it doesn't necessarily come with mallet. I think a lot of cis people, like especially cis people that aren't actively aware that they they know any trans people, they're curious. Like it, it's a curious thing. Pre-transition, I was fascinated by it and I still am and I am trans and I still love it. Like, you know, it's like, I think it's a wonderful, magical thing and it's incredible. And I love hearing the stories and I love, I love seeing the, the glow ups and all that stuff. I'm constantly looking at them like, it's just as fascinating to me to see how far people come and how much how much they change and like how it affects their life and and it's all you know almost uniformly a dramatically positive change and so it's it's just wonderful it's really uplifting to see all that stuff and so i get it like a, a cis person that like is curious like and just wants to know like you know and i and i could see how 
it's still a rude question to ask. It's still inappropriate, but I, I don't think it necessarily is, is a malicious maneuver. Lie to them. Don't tell them. I always tell people, people know I'm trans. Uh, if they ask me questions, I'll be like, that's rude. Don't ask trans people that all the time. They're always like, what, what's your name used to be? It's like, don't, that's none of your business. And don't ever ask a trans person that again. I don't get asked that stuff, but that's the answer. But yeah, you, you lie to people all the time. Like if, they, if they're asking you questions, it's none of their business. You just lie. Just be like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a dude. I'm a dude. Yeah. Bro, bro I'm a dude. Give me a little, uh, give me a little that. Really sell it. Really sell it with the head thing. Yeah. I feel like we're wading into dangerous territory. I don't mean to make fun of boys. <laughs> I gave you the nod up when you came in. That's a dude thing. I gave you the nod up when you came in. Of course, I'm a bro. How long before you stopped doing that, though? I do it. I still do it. Yeah. <laughs> I still catch myself. Like someone comes in, I'm like, so I do the, the old dude head nod. That's like the that's like the hardest dude habit yeah, to break. I do it with trans dudes, like more specifically when I make an extra effort to give them bro nods. Trans dudes out there, do you love this? Sup? Sup, dude. Sup? Yeah, bro. Hey, for sure. Hey, sup? 